later we'll come to a new Uni 3D tutorial. So this is a LAN tutorial and what we're going to do in this tutorial is go, we're going to have to jump back to classes for a minute um, for one tutorial but it shouldn't be that hard. We're basically going to create a class for all our weapons, spells, blah, 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 blah. So it's really, really simple to do. We've done it before, we've got to do it again. The reason we're doing it now is because next tutorial we're going to make it so we can pick up a sword from the floor and then tutorial after that we're going to make it so we can actually use it in combat. So we're going to use the weapon class so we can jump back, is it collectible, um, how much damage does it do, stuff like that, description, really easy. So we're going to go to our scripts and I've moved all the stats outside of it so that we can see it all, but all I'm going to do is create a new folder called stats and I'm going to put all these in there. Unity, if you do it inside Unity, Unity will automatically configure itself to find them, but if you do it outside you'll get errors. So we go in and I'm going to duplicate item starts and I'm going to rename it to weapon starts. And the reason I'm going to do this one instead of anything else is because then when we open it up, this one has all the um, icon searching what we need. It's got pretty much every property we need for an item really, so we can just adjust it to our sword. So we're going to get rid of the money icon and we're going to name the variable to weapons. And it's going to be a variable type of weapon. So we can rename the item weapon like that. So it's going to create a new weapon class, so we'll work on a class for now. So the weapon needs a name, that's true. It also needs a damage. In fact, we'll keep it where that was. It needs an amount of it, so how many of these have the player got? So has it got one, two, three, four, five? So that's what we want. It needs damage, so how much damage is it going to inflict on the opponents? Buy and sell price of it, we need those as well because the player can sell and buy them. An icon it needs and a description it needs. That's pretty much everything, so as I told you, very much alike. In player amount, I'm going to add damage here, so equals damn. And here I'm just going to put damn int. So the damage is now added. And we can get rid of all these up here and just start fresh. So new weapon, just like we did. And we'll start with our sword. So wood, sword. Player has none. The damage it does is four, so it's quite powerful-ish in our game. Because the enemies usually have five life. So bash, dead. Um, buy price will be two so it's not really good but the sell price is one it's got no icon yet because we add it and then up here we'll just type wooden i think it's here we'll just put wood sword is a basic start a sword which children use to practice so really basic thing, it doesn't make, it's not there to make you feel bad for children, it's a basic sword, it's the first one you find. So all our classes done now, perfect. We're going to come down and load the icons. So resources.load all, and we're going to rename it to weapons. So load all weapon icons, perfect. It comes down and set weapons. So that one's now done completely, nearly. Yep, so that one's done. So if we go back. And like we did at the function start, we need to add it to our resources. So we're going to open up our resources, and we're going to rename this one. Well, we already have a folder, so for our fireball icons. So we can get those, and we're just going to find one for our sword, so hopefully we have something. So the icon for our sword will just be a weapon pad for now. So we're going to rename it to sword icon, and stick it back up. So as you can see, this is all good and okay, but it's not brilliant. So our first one is sword, so we're going to follow this one. So the idea of the sword will, well, wood sword will be zero underscore wood sword. Then fireballs next, so one underscore fireball, two underscore ice ball. Perfect. So there's the OR, so let's make it for our new one here. So duplicate, duplicate, comma. So I'm just going to quickly run through this and speed it up, so I'll be back in a minute. So I've sorted the two ice ball and fireball out. So um, fireball I've set to minus one for the amount because then we, and we can search. If it equals minus one, then it means it's unlimited because our fireball is unlimited. And then one 
is um, the damage of it, so it's not very really good. And I've set the buy and sell price to zero because you can't sell it because it's just unlimited. But the ice ball has ammo, so I've set the amount to zero and the buy and sell price to two and one, so it's really easy. I've basically put, they are both basic starter spells for the children used to practice. Really simple, really quick. So we can go back, we've got our icons here, and we're going to assign it to the misc scripts of the character. Boom. So we now have weapons as well. Perfect, look at that. So if we open all these up and load it, it should spawn the icons for us. Perfect, so now we have those. So what we're going to do now, just to quickly, nicely end off the tutorial. We've got stats for a weapon to be picked up. So let's just make the weapon to be picked up. We're not actually going to make it, so you can pick it up because we're going to have to edit all of our items in our inventory add script. But for now, we're just going to simply create the icon and fix this here. So as you can see, the stone has a nuclear box. Now, if you haven't watched my space tutorial, then you won't know why it's a nuclear box. But if you have, um, the reason it's a nuclear box is because it's edited the material here. So stone, simply what we're going to do is add stone back to it. And then we're going to duplicate it for apple and uh, the other one, nuclear box. So apple, we'll assign the apple texture and nuclear box, we'll assign the nuclear box texture. That simple. We've now got stone and we're going to add a nuclear box to it just because we can. It's easy, simple enough. So prefabs, items, we have coin, iron, nuclear box, which is that. That's the wrong material. So the easiest way to do this is to go up to your mesh renderer and literally change the material across. So nuclear box. Boom. We nice have a, now have a nice nuclear box. So let's stick it into our game. So we have a nuclear box now. It works. It's perfect. So we stick that in items. So that one works. Is that apples okay? Let's just see. We don't have one for apples yet. We should probably make one one day. But yeah, so let's make a sword one. So the easiest way to do this is to type in sword into our search and get the sword here. We'll just duplicate it and stick it out. Boom. So we have a sword. Simple enough. Let's drag it over here. Let's set the rotation so it's straight up. And one day we'll make it bounce and twirl and stuff. It'll be really cool. So that's there. F. And let's get rid of all the colliders inside it. So the capsule collider and the box collider. And then we'll stick it on the parent of it. Otherwise we'll get some issues. So box collider. And all the rest are triggers if you look. So we'll set this to a trigger too. Trigger. Perfect. That's okay for where it is because it's, well, the client it's not covering it all, but it's, you're hardly going to jump over the top of it and clear it. But if you do, we'll move it up. So the next thing is to start modifying it. So these are all just called stone, so we'll just call this wood sword, like so. We'll drag it up into items, and all we're going to do is stick it in items, pretty much in our prefabs. So instead of items, we'll call it inside, yeah, we'll just stick it in. Perfect enough, so that's there. And all we're going to do now is make it so when you hit it, it destroys it. That simple. So we'll go to character, collisions, it's called wood sword. So under here we'll type if carl.gameobject.name, pretty much everything we've typed up there equals wood sword. Then what it'll do is destroy the object and then add it, just like that. But we're going to note out these two, else it won't work. Because currently, the add item tells it to go to the item stats. Whereas this is a weapon, so it's different. But we will figure it, we will do that differently, don't worry. So we go up, collect it, it destroys it. We don't have a sword yet, but that's fine. Let's just test these. These all work. That works. That works. Perfect. Really easy, as that will save us a little bit of time next time. Thank you for watching. Sorry it's been classes again, but I think... Unless we haven't created one for our vehicles, that might be the last one. Yes, we've got to create one for the vehicles, but after that, that should be it. That's it, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.